Ah. Don't. Okay. <laughs> I'm running a little bit late today. But I'm working on getting things set up. I still have to do some graphic setting and audio setting stuff. Let me see about... Normally with games, because I have this nice new computer, I... In most games, would just do like the highest settings possible, but in The Sims 3. In The Sims 3. make a town a save file that's just like my settings save file in the Sims 3. I don't know if I'm loving the look of the settings I did, to actually be totally honest. Okay. I'm giving my sims an epic lifespan. Here, I'll show this part. I'm giving them an epic lifespan, but I only want babies and toddlers for 12 days because I don't like babies and toddlers in the sims. They bother me. Maybe I'll do toddlers 14 days. They get two weeks. Maybe I'll do that for babies too. They get two weeks. That's all. That's actually a lot of baby time. I'm going to do seven days for a baby. <laughs> but all of the other life states are pretty independent. And 
I like to have them around for a long time. And then I also want to exit the tutorial. Okay, I'm going to... I'm going to save and quit because this is... I need to restart for the graphics settings that I change. Settings. Save. File. Save. When my VOD finishes uploading, I will be able to unplug that USB so you won't hear that USB unplug sound anymore. That might be a little... Ooh. Okay. Then I'm just going to hit play again. It logged me out. Maybe now we can watch a little opening sequence together. Go ahead and put my art back up again because the username I have for my Sims 3 profile um, I can't change and it's not Task Pumpkin and I don't want anyone to see what it is. I'm gonna really quickly open my stream dashboard on Twitch because I want to make sure I'm a little tiny bit traumatized by that stream I did that was just static images the whole time. It was uh, kind of embarrassing. I'm gonna do start a new game in Sunset Valley. I suppose me. for the future I could make just a very small little thing to cover. I don't want to have to log out and log back in every time I play. And also I sometimes want to show off the new game screen. Okay. Make sure my 
other stuff. Okay, Sunset Valley. Okay, Bubbles. I'm really good at this because I know what things are called because I play this game too much. Curtains. It kind of bothers me when it starts like glitching though. Honey slippers. Oh, it usually takes a lot longer, so that game's a little bit more fun. <laughs> but. <laughs> Okay. I'm going to be creating a brand new household. And I'm going to be making a household with eight sims. I'm going to start with my sim self. And then going down the line through the rest of them, I'm going to make... I, I kind of have this vision of making it like a... Not a real apartment building, because apartments aren't until late night but like a rather than being an eight sim household i mean it is an eight sim household but rather than being an eight sim family it's a few different households all in one so i'm going to start with my sim self though not loke i don't totally have Mouse is being a little bit twitchy. I want the palest one. So whichever one is the most, I think it's this one. Pale. Now let's try to be a little bit accurate. I know the USB is unplugged. I'm going to unplug it in a few minutes. Because I don't know what happens if I unplug it right now while it's still uploading. It's not what I meant to do. The game is running marvelously since there's no other packs in it. have any packs and I don't have any store content and I mean I do I own them but I don't have them installed right now um because I'm kind of doing the same thing I'm doing with the sims 4 where I introduce them over time but also the sims 3 base game like People roasted The Sims 4 base game. The Sims 3 base game leaves even more to be desired. I wish I could fix the audio cutting out every time I leave the tab. But alas, I cannot find a solution. I think this is what I'm going to go with until I have more content.
I'm gonna use some presets just to get the face kind of started and then I will go into the sliders. <coughs> I'm sorry. I don't know what just happened to me. I will go into the sliders and clean it up a little. Kind of like not making it correct. But I think that's the best I'm going to be able to do. What I have to work with. Let me see about. I think what it is is maybe the lips are still throwing me off.
There's something about it that's like not melding. Or maybe that's just what I look like. I don't have the full face. Those beauty marks are a little bit too like defined. I'm gonna try not to do the same makeup look on every single sim that I make, but I have some tendencies. I have no idea what her ears look like. I'm not sure I know what my ears look like. I, I guess that's fine. Oh, let me check the hairs in here. Just to be sure. Yeah, it's all mostly hats. One cool thing is I have the create a style, so I can give her an outfit completely custom. And I'm going to. I wonder if I can find one that has a pumpkin on it, but I probably not because of the fact that like, I don't have seasons installed. I wonder if I could make one. I don't think you can like draw on it though. There's this. Maybe there will be one with a pumpkin on it. Or a jack o' lantern face. Uh, it's not really looking like it though. I think I'm gonna leave it pretty plain for now. I want to go for something that's like a blend between comfortable and stylish. Okay, I think I have to unplug it and I really hope... No, I can't because it's still uploading my VOD. And I think if I move the VOD file right now, it's gonna mess that up. I should have started that earlier, but I was I was I was rushing around like a chicken without my head. Mm. I don't know if I like. Maybe the blue ones I will tolerate. We'll see about accessories. Forgot about the awful glasses options. Why are they that pattern? I want them to just be plain. Are they like scratched up? Is that what it is? Oh, I forgot that mine aren't black anymore. 
I got new glasses and sometimes I forget about what they look like. Nope. I'm gonna give her a watch though, because I wear a Fitbit a lot. I haven't been though, I've kind of been slacking on my Fitbit a little bit. I want those to be true black. Maybe I'm not going to give her the watch if that's what it's going to do. There's an orange one though. I might remember the orange one for a different outfit. As you can. I don't like the idea of doing like a Christmas themed formal wear. Socks, though. And I think it's cute, simple and cute. Ah, the way. You do something. Something like this. Or maybe not. Maybe something a little more. I kind of want to use the shorts for the workout wear. Aha, I know what I'll do. That's it's like um I think it's made from bamboo fibers and it's green like this. Like some brown house shoes. Not quite like those, but Garaba. I like to match the house shoes. With the with the robe. I think it's a vibe. Did I do this one? Or did I do this one? I feel like I did that one. I'm just not sure. <laughs> My memory is still so too small. I know that I did some true black on those. Make the shoes match. I've got a lot of sims to get through, so I'm trying to be thorough, but quick. And I don't know if I'm succeeding at that. Swoola. You know, I don't recall if I gave my sim a swimwear outfit in The Sims 4. 
Bazoof Nazca. And I don't remember what it was if I did. Okay. I, with the other Sims, I'm going to try to aim towards particular uh, lifetime wishes with their traits. But for my Sim self, I'm going to try to be accurate to me. give her too many traits that are like annoying you know I think I want to I think I'm gonna give her the unlucky trait both because I feel that sometimes I am like it. A little bit. I, I have a reason. <laughs> I'm a little bit accident prone. Not so much. <coughs> not so much clumsy, but like things go wrong often <laughs> for me. <laughs> but also, I think unlucky Sims kind of can't die. I mean, they can, but. They get pity from Grim. Mm. I feel like I, I have two traits. I have a, a bookworm, which is just those two are. I want to pick a good trait. <laughs> I want to pick one that I like. gonna get the heavy sleeper because I think that's true and I also yeah. think it's not no I have I don't think I have a good balance of traits I want to get one that I that seems good what if I'm gonna do this one because I feel it feels a little bit in the middle. Like a bookworm and computer whiz contribute to like activities. And then absent minded and unlucky are kind of like downsides, and perfectionist is kind of in the middle. I want to pick one of the ones that I've been recommended. And I think the one that I'm going to pick is going to be this one or this one. And I can't decide. gonna be this one. Because the only reason I was gonna maybe pick the spy one because it's like kind of a reference to my sim self being a spy for like two seconds in my sims 4 save. Um, 
But I think this one's more a little bit true to me. I'm gonna pick. Ooh. I'm gonna pick sushi. And then custom music and orange. Narbo Bazed. Maggie Boost Kamiya. Chan Bobby Pazzle. Narzi Banuktol. Wibsy. Bonaka too. Jukrali Unlatse. Chilaki. Diwa Rapina. Walzogi. Denja Niskububi. Rips on Nupi. I don't know why the voice bothered me. Okay. For the next sim. I'm going to aim for a very particular sort of vibe. Sashko! Golden tongue, golden fingers, lifetime wish. Oops, I don't know what I was doing just now. The hair options are not, they're not bad, but they're not great either. I may end up getting some custom content of Sims 3 because it's a little bit easier to install in The Sims 3. And also The Sims 3, while it is decently buggy, I feel like it's not as like consistently broken as The Sims 4 is. Maybe. And we have 29 more minutes before I can unplug. Just the chest area and not so much. Space, perhaps. Mm 
Oh, what was happening there? Goodness. Maybe we can give him some tattoos. We let go. I don't know about him having any of those, though. shoulder. Hmm. Mardunsa. So sure about only having the base game in my game now. <laughs> I want not patterned. I think about it, I don't know if the, the teaching, the education career was base game, because I'm kind of getting like cool teacher vibes from him. Oh, this one is both ears, and this one's one or the other. I'm just gonna have him do both. Maybe black ones. He's go. definitely giving me cool teacher vibes. I don't know if he necessarily needs to have a suit with a bow tie, but that's what he's got. I want him to have rings. Rings are cool. Yep, so. I'm gonna make his ring match his earrings. Except the blue is. Here we go. Here we go. Brunard Dar. Mardunsa. Oh, those slippers are terrifying. My goodness. What if we give him a little green necklace? To match his ring and his earrings. Oh, 
そうそう<笑> Maybe isn't gonna look exactly the same, but that's okay. <笑> A vibe? Do we like or do we think it's silly? I think I think I like it. Medio. Oh, hold on, does he have Sashko? Medio. Yep so. Did I make them we green? Go. Yes. And there's Sashko. Okay. gonna accept because if I don't accept then the green necklace won't save. Should he swim in his ring? Yeah. Bruno's on that side. So I'm gonna put together some of the recommended traits for this charismatic Sewell, Nibnor! Good sense of humor. <laughs> Great kisser. <laughs> Hopeless romantic. I want to get Virtuoso in there. So I think I'm going to take... Hopeless romantic out. Wait, what is Schmoozer? Maybe I'll take that one. Or hope is romantic. Hmm. I think I'm actually gonna put a good sense of humor back in there. <laughs> nice. For his favorite food. That again, I uh, need his apple glove. Chabo. Pablo Herbie. Epley Condoroy. Pablo Herbie. Okay, I want to see something. Okay. I'm gonna make him a Leo. And then I want I wanna make I'm gonna create a twin because I want to make his grandmother. I, if I ghost. ever get around to like building Swula. the apartments, they're gonna live in one of the apartments together. Dag dag. Completely dirty on the brows. 
but I do kind of want to give her like old lady brows. I'm gonna make her fabulous though. She's gonna be a dignified older lady. give her a tattoo like he has oh she has one <laughs> she has the one he so had because so. she started as a twin i maybe won't do a tattoo so so. i want her to be absolutely fabulous i don't want her hair to clip Ooh. I forgot about that. I'm gonna give her a different hairstyle so it's not clipping. Perhaps this one. Maybe I'll come back and since it's only base game, later I'm gonna lock the hairstyles because it's too much to be in creative sim for long periods of times in the sims 3 but for now i will give her individualized hairstyles because she deserves them learn to have fabulous little heels fabulous everything i'm gonna say the words fabulous a lot for her yes i know the usb is unplugged thank you goodness gracious Sims is ageist. It's time we all acknowledge that. Barno! They don't have bonnets in The Sims 3. But maybe that's kind of cute. I might get some custom content bonnets for the Sims 3 later. She needs slippers. I believe her favorite color is going to be yellow or purple. I wish it could be too. both. I can't find a lifetime wish for her that 
she might actually get to see. I'm going to give her the living in the lap of luxury one. Going to make her ambitious. Uh. And want to make her a mooch because I feel like that's not who she is. I'm going to make her a vehicle enthusiast. There we go. Bah. Her favorite food is going to be something we can make big portions of key lime pie. And to indie music. And I think maybe purple. It's gonna be her favorite color. Nagi boost kami chan booby puzzle. Whipsy Bonica too. Narbo Zed rips on Noopy. I think she deserves to be Scorpio. Okay. The next sim I have professional author is me. Golden Tongue, Golden Fingers, Pharaoh, Francine, Living the Lap of Luxury. Ogla. I kind of like him just as he is, but I do want to make him an adult. So, so. See what his other outfits look like. Lord Dunsa. Because I want him to be CEO of a so, so. corporation, and I already have in mind that for the rest of so we have, I have my own space in whatever household we do, 
And then Raul and Francine are grandson and grandma, and they're gonna have their space. And then Aaron is gonna have a wife and three kids. And he's gonna be focused on his career more than his family. And his wife is gonna be focused on the kids. And she's gonna have the uh, surrounded by family aspiration. Which is gonna be kind of lame for her because the household is full. In nine minutes, we can get rid of that noise. Brunark Dar. Promise. Yep, so. Okay, I need. He is going to be ambitious. Savani Gertz. Charismatic. Sul Sul, Bazo. Frugal. It's me, Norm. Schmoozer. Zorgopolis. I want to take Schmoozer oh out of Raoul's personality and put Hopeless Romantic back in. Sashko! His favorite food is going to be Tim Sum. I think I'm gonna have him like classical music, and his favorite color is going to be spice brown. Miyapso! Deepa Hadura Temple Glow. Ebly Condoroy! Temple Glow. I want him to be a Taurus. And then we're gonna add his wife, his name is Aaron Walton. Silso! She already is pretty cute. I just want to make some slight
And maybe we could make the pink a little, like, rosier. Like that. I think she's cute. Azutep. I'll maybe I'll keep the red but make it something a little more I didn't exactly randomize her, but dip toggy. Let's get her those surrounded by family traits. Okay, family oriented, friendly. Baluda. Good. Is nurturing a base game trait? No, right? Okay. I'm also gonna make her excitable. <laughs> Neat, I think. Oh to flaws. What's her name again? Bobby. Going to make her favorite food cookies. I'm gonna have her like kids music and yellow. Walzogi Denja Narzi Benuktol. I'm gonna make her but maybe a Libra. I'm gonna make Aaron and Bobby's kids and I'm gonna use um, Play With Genetics. I'm gonna have one teen, one child. I forgot to make Bobby an adult, hold on. Bazoof Nazca. So so. Now I will make their children. Not my children. I think I'm gonna have the teen be a girl and then have the child and the toddler be boys. Babu. I want to 
do a purple one though. Even in The Sims 3, teens have no chin. I think the problem is that Bobby has a chin and I didn't notice it until I had already randomized the teen. Let's see what kind of top we can get going for her. Maybe not for a teenager. Maybe also not that for a teenager. Maybe I'll make her like a kind of a, like a sweet goth. Can I recolor that brown too though? Can I make it more gray? Cute. I wonder if I just put the purple on the shoes. Leave the shoes as it is. That's cute, but I feel like it's maybe a little bit more formal wear. So let me pick her out a different pair of shoes. Does upload complete, so I'm going to unplug this and hope for the best. That's not the right one. Hopefully now that noise will stop completely. But still not every day. Well, Lumi loves you, not about the formal wear. Oh, so the teenagers can wear them. I'm going to, I'm going to try to grab the hex for this shade. Oops. Hopefully I can then paste. Nope. I'm gonna have to get the RBG. 124, 50, 65. 1, 24, 50, 65. 1, 24, 50, 65. 1, 24, 50, 65. 1, 24, 50, 65. 1, 24, 50, 65. Color theory at work there. I think I want to make her hair like a little bit more dynamic. I want to make the eyebrows truly black. And I maybe want to make the roots truly black. And then do a more like a little bit more dynamic of a color like something more like that 
actually kind of really like that. Gazork! I will allow for her sleepwear to be the makeup. So that sometimes her parents get to see her with no makeup. I like her. What's her name again? Anne-Marie. I'm going to have her have a bit morbid of... I want her... Here's what it is. I'm going to aim her toward the gold digger aspiration. But it's more of like a not so much, like, see ghost of wealthy, of wealthy spouse isn't so much like, I forgot what menu I was in. It isn't so much like a, uh, see the ghost and know that you got their money. It's more of a, like, Adam's family kind of like, ghost spouse spouse that's cool, you know? All of the traits that pull that up, though, are not traits I want to give her, so I'm going to freehand her traits a little bit. There is one, and I can give her flirty, and that might help. I'm going to do flirty green thumb. Grumpy. Um. Um. I think I kind of want to make her Time wish I want her to have will come up. I'm gonna do stew surprise, custom music, black. Narbo Bazev, Whipsy, Bonica too. And I want her to be a cancer. And now let's do. I'm going to have the kid. Even though I probably won't get to their lifetime wishes in this stream. I'm going to have the child. Someday. An aspiring astronaut. Carl Walton. OK. 
kids are usually a little bit easier in The Sims 3 because there's simpler choices. Tucks, though. Little blue tucks. traits than the ones that were assigned. Going to give him athletic, brave, and daredevil. And as he gets older he will also get handy and loves the outdoors. Hopefully if he does well in school I'm gonna make his favorite food. Fried peanut butter and banana sandwich. I have him like kids music. Maybe I can change that when he gets older. For Naki, Jabba Jabba. I think I'm gonna make him a Gemini. And now we just have one more sim to go. I'm excited and it's a toddler. The toddler, I'm going to I'm gonna have be a master thief someday. He's gonna be a funky little guy. Byron Walton. Hilton. Walton. cute. I think Sims 4 toddlers are cuter. I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make his favorite color red. It's gonna be a little red boy. different for his everyday though. There he goes. Sorry bud, but I'm taking the traits that you were randomized with. I'm gonna give him athletic. And I can't do daredevil. Can't do kleptomaniac, I don't think. But I can do evil. It's an evil little guy. I'm going to make his favorite food. <laughs> Lobster Thermidor. I'm also going to make him a Scorpio. I think I like how this eight sim household is working out. I may not actually get to play it today because I also still have to build them somewhere to live that works for them. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do that now. And then we'll see if we actually get to gameplay. Batibuza? Shall we name the household? Do spouse of 
what if we do, we make them brothers? No, let's not, because then, then it really is three and one, and they're separated. I know that I'm probably going to have to use cheats to give them a place to live. So let me actually go ahead and retrofit maybe, maybe one of these I can retrofit, probably this one I guess. I can make it like an actual condor museum lofts as in separate lofts instead of one. Okay, whoops. I suppose there are three driveways. I wonder if I can make it sort of like semi-communal living. I'm not much of a builder, and I already know that this is a little bit out of their price range without cheats. Is that a sliding door? So I need room for the toddler bed, so they're just not going to have a dresser. This is going to be the kid room and the teen room. And then we'll go up here. And up here. I'm going to move one of these computers over here. And we'll make this my space and then I'm gonna demolish this Thank you. 
amount of each of their space. that there's enough space for everything that needs to be in there like there would be in the sims 3 the only thing there isn't hmm i might need to take more of her space because i would like for there to be able to be a bathtub in for her. This is way, 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 way out of the price range. So there will be some cheats involved in this. I want to put a little couch here for her to sit and enjoy. but that's all right. Nice decor. Maybe I can put a mirror above his here. And I 
also need a bathroom in here. And I think what I'm going to do is move this to the end of the bed. And I might just... What I'm going to do is, for the personal spaces, I'm going to... <laughs> lock them. And I'll only unlock them if I have a reason to. Like if I want people to hang out together or something. Excuse me. Okay. There's a light there, that's why. Oh, if we put the light... <sighs> Can't put the light there, but maybe we can put the light here and maybe we can give them a little it seems awfully far away but at least it's there I don't have room for it in the other bathrooms I might have room for it in mine Switch the toilet and the sink at work. Oh, things have to be against the wall. Okay. Whoops. And then let's go over here. And we'll have the shower and tub be set. Maybe I should put the toilet over there and the tub right there.
I don't know if you can actually bathe toddlers in the bathtub. In fact, I think you can't. And I seem to recall that I have a store content item that is a little changing table for babies and toddlers. Where am I gonna put the toddler to the left? The toddler's favorite color is red and I gave him all this yellow stuff. Silly. Will that be okay? kind of didn't want to have the toilet facing into the shower, but I can change it later when I don't need the toddler toilet anymore. Okay. There's the art gallery. And the hospital. I think but I may do I'm gonna go ahead and put the car in now because I don't want them to not be able to afford them afterward. So for the family, I'm going to get them the minivan. Okay, actually, there's three garages. not an interior door on any of them. Let me really quickly grab these doors. I didn't solve the problem that I thought I solved. I'm going to put another car spot out front here because Mr. Businessman needs his work vehicle. But the little family also needs a van. I'm gonna actually give the big lemon over here is going to be This one is my garage. 
And then that one is for Francine and Raoul. I want there to be a front entrance so that I can not have to walk around a bunch. Francine's car, Raul's bike, my car, the family car, and then little businessman's car. I know that he has a carpool, but I still want him to have a car that exists on the property. I think we're going to end up instantaneously completing Francine's uh, lifetime wish. Oh, I didn't get the kids anything. Hold on. I'm gonna head back in there really quickly. There are one, two, and I have to change it to five bedrooms as well. So I wanna make, I wonder if I should put I'm gonna put Anne Marie over here. I also want her to have a place to do her homework. I'm gonna give her a little desk right there. And a cute little desk chair. And I don't remember what her brother's name is. I think it's Carl. Carl could use a little toy box. And he could use maybe just the toy box. And he also has to do homework, but maybe he could do his homework out in the common area or something. This little man also needs some skill things, and I think I'm gonna kind of leave him laying around a little bit. Like he just uses them wherever he wants to use them. Maybe I can move that. Maybe we can put this one over like here or something. I think that's all I should do for now because I shouldn't get too carried away with the idea of like, because I'm moving them into a house they really can't afford. Let me edit details. Five bathroom. Three bath. game set up. Testing cheats enable ah enable true. Enable true. Free real 
stay on. Let's see if that actually worked. Ah, okay. I thought it was interesting. It must have altered her actual goal because of the cheating. Okay. Make preferred vehicle. Make preferred vehicle. Okay. Let me specify Sim to Ken, Dor, not Emery, not Aaron, not Bobby, Byron, or Carl, or me. Just Raul and Francine. Let me now also lock Sims for the door. Anybody who doesn't have the last name, Walton. And everyone but myself. I have six minutes until four. I know I started late. I think what I will do is sort of get the ball rolling on everyone. I was gonna have him be a teacher, but the... <laughs> That job doesn't exist. <laughs> so I think what I might have him do instead for now. I don't know if it's ambitions that introduced that. I did, I kind of dressed him like a teacher though. But I, I, I think I'll have him do the music career. Gonna have her work at the mausoleum. Let me see what everybody has in their inventory. They still have like Blackberry type phones because they, they won't have smartphones until university. That's kind of cute. Okay. I'm gonna have her be like a stay-at-home type mom. So I'm gonna start getting everybody going to where they're supposed to be join the business career. The writing class is. You don't need to be holding your neighbor's baby, sir. Join the music career. Going to have her come out. Oh, she can't get a part time job at the mausoleum. That's probably also ambitions. I guess I'll have her do the bookstore. Yeah. I don't know why he wants to throw a party, but instead he can go home. Actually, he can attend a guitar class.
And we'll also let her tend to cooking class. I don't think you need the logic skill. Just work at home. Is equal his boss. Become friends with his boss. You don't need to throw a party. You don't need to learn the guitar skill. She wants to learn the painting skill. She's dumpster diving. Attend a painting class. Okay. He wants to learn a charisma skill. himself. Go ahead and start a sci-fi novel. Play the guitar, Raul. see what her novel is going to be called and then I will probably end stream for today and hopefully tomorrow in the rest of this event I don't know what that means Scene, go home. I'm gonna give her that wish. But I don't know if she's gonna get it. And Marie also go home. have arrived. Where are the neighbors? Uh, I forgot that Claire starts the world pregnant. Raul, where are you going? You came all the way out into the front yard to play guitar. I think... On these notes, I'm going to go ahead and save my game. And I'm going to call this my sim self save because my sim self is here. But I'm not going to, like, yank my sim self out of this household just because I didn't really do the playing Sims 3 on hard mode. I will continue to have her uh, living in this household and I will continue with these sims the next time I get a chance to play the sims 3 and I think I would normally raid someone but I think I just gotta go <laughs> I will resume raids tomorrow hopefully uh, thank you for watching hope to see you tomorrow <laughs>